Hey guys, welcome to the channel. If you like the content, hit that subscribe button. Leave a like down below. I want to talk about the Create a Championship feature in the 2K games and some improvements I'd like to see because just like the other modes, I feel like it's just the status quo I and mean, we don't really get any updates or improvements. It's just the same almost every year. So I will say this though, in 2K23, I feel like, and 22, I feel like the belts did look a lot better but we didn't really get a lot of new stuff, like new parts, new new patterns, new textures, new new stuff like that. New new things you can do within the Create a Championship. So here are five things that I would like to see added to the Create a Championship feature set. Number one, so there's all these different textures in the other modes. You got rubber, you got the glow feature, you got basically sparkles, you got you got uh, Gaza, you got all this stuff, but you can't use it on the creative belt. You can't use it on the strap and you can't use it on steel. Why is that? I know it's they're going for that simulation aspect, but maybe they did try it. Maybe it was all fuzzy, but this is too, this is 2024. We should be able to figure this stuff out. So basically, my first ask, or first improvement I would add to create a championship is be able to use any texture on both the strap and the metal parts, the steel parts of the championship. I mean, imagine having the, the, the strap glow neon when you're wearing it down to the ring. That'd be really, really cool looking, don't you think? Like, especially if you have a match or an entrance, I should say, that's really dark when you go into the ring and your championship's all lit up. I mean, that would be awesome. It would stand out like a sore thumb would be really cool and with that neon parts even on the steel let's say you just want your name to be lit up or the name of the championship to be lit up or certain parts of it to really make it stand out on your way to the ring i think that'd be really cool too so anyway just having all the texture parts and adding some new ones like uh some hair like fuzziness like like i said in a previous video make it look like you're some viking warrior that made a championship belt out of bear hide or something you know something cool like that all right number two with the creation options i should be able to make my own divisions right so there's male and female divisions there's tag visions there's cruiserweight there's pretty much everything in there except for one and i don't know why wb hasn't done this in the real show because why not and that's a mixed gender tag team championship division we have one male one female and you can just make a whole division out of that i know there's a lot of wrestlers that are winding down with their careers why not use that as an opportunity to get them in the ring and put a title on them and just make up this whole new division that'd be really really fun i think like you could have let's say the miz and maurice be the first mixed intergender tag team champions because they really work well together. And then you could have random team-ups like Braun Strowman and uh, Alexa Bliss like they did during that tournament. There's so many different things you could do with that. And if we can't do it in the real wrestling or the actual WWE, why can't I do it in the game? It was going to be very difficult to do in the game. You already have the match type in there. And the rule set's already in there, so just let me put some straps on. That'd be so fun. And allow me to make... Now, this is a bonus feature here. When you make tag team championships, I should be able to make each belt look different if I want to. Well, let's say I want this strap to be blue and I want this strap to be red. I should be able to do that, but they both have to be the same. That's kind of boring. Like, allow me to do different things with each belt to, to like, let's say for mixed gender tag, you have pink belt be the women's and the blue belt be the men's or whatever. Pink, men's, whatever. It doesn't matter. But... Be able to make up my own division like a mixed tag team championship would be awesome now number three and this one's probably really difficult to do but again they have enough money to figure it out so let's get this going and that is a plate shape maker now what i'm talking about is the design of the plate itself the center plate and the side plates For right now we just pick through a huge list of pre-selected you know plates most of them have designs on it nothing there's not they're not all blank i mean you can mix and match and try to come up with something on your own but it's always the same ones too they may or may not add a few more it's it's so bare bones it's kind of hard to remember 
but uh, it'd be cool if you could just take like a whole separate thing and make your own design out of it and put it on there. They can make it to where it has a base outline of your design like area threshold and within the confines of that area you could build whatever you want. So let's say you want a bunch of little circles that are made out of you know the steel wherever on there and you can use that as your design or if you want to make a custom logo like my wrestling mask the Streiser mask and I just want to put the design of the mask on there that's not just a, a paint tool that looks like it doesn't belong there I should be able to do that too that'd be so cool so anyway just so like a plate shape maker that way you can truly customize the championship however you want the most exciting thing about that would be to see what the community comes up with because they could come up with some pretty cool stuff like <laughs> already I couldn't wait to see what they would come up with this. Number four, have an option for, now this one's gonna be a little confusing, so try to follow me here. Have an option for replacing the main WWE Championships with your custom design in all modes as your creator wrestler's special title. Now what I'm getting at here is John Cena had the spinner belt, The Rock had his Brahma Bull Championship, Stone Cold has his Smoke and Skull Championship. Uh, Daniel Bryan had his Wooden WWE Championship. So basically, when you make your created wrestler champion in Universe Mode or Exhibition Mode or any mode within the game, any mode, it should automatically, if you set this up when you're creating your character and you have the belt made, kind of like they do with the side plates, it just replaces the WWE Championship. And I was like, well, wait a minute, Clint. You can just go in and change the champion yourself in universe mode. Yeah, but when you do that, it resets the stats or it's a different stat pool for that championship. So in universe mode specifically, it'd be awesome to be able to do this because then let's say you have the WWE Championship, right? It's entire stats, it's history and all that stuff. And when you become champion, let's say you don't want to have to replace that championship you want to keep that lineage of that championship within your universe mode you just basically change the look of it because it's your custom belt so when Streiser becomes champion the WWE champion it changes to his version of the WWE championship you see what I'm getting at with this that would be a fun little feature to where you can keep the WWE titles huge title reign and your custom design is just on there by default because you're the champion I feel like that's a cool little touch. I feel like that's not a crazy ask. I think that's possible. Um, it's probably just a flip of the switch in the coding. I think it works with the Money in the Bank briefcases. Don't quote me on that. But I feel like this would be a really cool feature specifically for universe mode. Now, number five. Speaking of custom belts, like John Cena's spinner belt, why don't we have movable parts on our custom created championships? That alone would add a huge new pool of ideas just for the Creative Championship, but no one in 2K, they would only make it those two designs, the US title spinner belt and then the, the John Cena one, where you couldn't make it your own, right? I think it'd be really cool if they allowed us to add movable parts to the championships. Like, because John Cena's belt's in there right now, but it doesn't spin. Like, what, what happened to that? It used to spin in the old games, I think in one game you had a button that you could press to make it spin. And it was really, really fun. I forget which game that was. But I think you pressed a button and it would just spin. Um, they need to bring that back. The little, the little touches that they took out over the years for the overall just visuals of the game, the presentation of the game. It's all about like the presentation. It's not about the little fun details that make a video game a video game. And these little touches go a long way in these video games so especially wrestling games like this one where it desperately needs some innovation I feel like 2k22 was, was it felt like a good upgrade but in 2023 literally just felt like a uh, like a update it didn't really feel like an upgrade if you will so I don't think 2k24 is gonna be a massive upgrade it's probably just gonna be like another DLC but uh, you never know they might be focusing on some things like these little things that take time to get because they have less than a year to make it uh, here's a this is a list of just ideas for the creative championship that they can improve uh, did I miss anything let me know in the comments below thank you for watching and stay frosty
Jack. 